Those of you working out there in post-production audio asked for this, so we've delivered. Clarity VX Pro has been updated with new features, giving you even more power and precision than before. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly what the new Clarity can do. And this is a free update. Of course, you get the same flawless noise reduction quality from the original release of Clarity VX, but with a range of excellent feature additions to help you get dialogue and vocal recordings cleaned quicker and more accurately than before. First up, the multiband count is increased from four bands to six, giving you the option of both multiband voice restoration using the pure gain feature on each band and the power to be far more surgical with your noise reduction processing. It also helps you tackle multiple noise profiles in a single recording. Now, if you're already in the middle of a mission critical project using VX Pro, not to worry. You can still update and it will load all of your original settings dialed in with four bands. Apart from the two new additional bands, there's more. A new time-saving auto reset control has been added to help you get far more stable results when dealing with multiple noise types across different recordings within the same channel or reassign bus. This means you no longer need to manually click that reset button every time you want to reset the history of the neural network. Simply engage it when you start using Clarity, and also Reset will do all of the heavy lifting for you on the fly when the neural networks need to adapt to different noise or voice types. Lastly, we've integrated a high quality limiter to prevent road peaks from digital clipping when bouncing tracks through the plugin, a highly requested feature. To recap, the latest version of VX Pro gives you two extra noise reduction bands, six in total, a new neural network's auto reset button, and a limiter to safeguard your newly cleaned tracks from clipping. Let's take a look at these new features in action. First, with a short segment from an interview recorded in a noisy coffee shop. And that guitar that had been hanging on my mom's wall for years started to appeal more and more. And when my friend said she was teaching herself the guitar, I was like, cool, OK, I'll get down that guitar and I'll dust it off. So the dialogue has a fair amount of ambient noise and hum there to contend with. And this is also a stereo recording, which doesn't really help matters much either. Without doing anything other than choosing one of the neural networks, narrowing down the width control and dialing in a processing amount, take a listen to how much of that complicated background noise can now be separated immediately from that voice. And that guitar that had been hanging on my mom's wall for years started to appeal more and more. And when my friend said she was teaching herself the guitar, I was like, cool, OK, I'll get down that guitar and I'll dust it off. And let's see if I can catch up to where she is. And it's literally just learning a few chords. We've got a DVD and a book out of a library. Let's dive deeper into the processing using the new features under the advanced controls. Here we have the two new additional multibands, six in total. And to get started with these, you first need to have a high level of processing at the main control knob. And these bands are dependent on the main control position. To help you find problem areas quickly, use solo, processing bypass, diff monitor, which lets you hear the ambience you're reducing from that band, and of course, five crossovers to adjust band width. To decide how much processing you need per band from the neural network, simply drag each fader around. The lower the fader means less processing at that band. The higher the fader, the more processing. Let's start with all the faders at the lowest position and we'll add what we need as we go. Let's start with the upper register bands to target that digital hum noise. But first, as this is a stereo file, I'm going to fold down the width control to mono and set the analysis from single to double, as the noise we want to reduce is stereophonic and rather different between left and right channels. Using double will help us get the most precise results possible. And that guitar that had been hanging on my mom's wall for years started to appeal more and more. And when my friend said she was teaching herself the guitar, I was like, cool, OK, I'll get down that guitar and I'll dust it off. And let's see if I can catch up to where she is. And it's literally just learning a few chords. We've got a DVD and a book out of a library. OK, so we've got an instant improvement there. I'm sure you'll agree. Let's now push the processing amount on some of the other bands to reduce the remaining general coffee shop noises. And that guitar that had been hanging on my mom's wall for years started to appeal more and more. And when my friend said she was teaching herself the guitar, I was like, cool, OK, I'll get down that guitar and I'll dust it off. And let's see if I can catch up to where she is. And it's literally just learning a few chords. We've got a DVD and a book out of a library. Once you get the bands set where you need them, you might want to back off the processing slightly across all the bands. Let's say you need some of the noise left in for context as the audio is going to be synced to video. And you can do that very easily with the process amount control. 
And that guitar that had been hanging on my mom's wall for years started to appeal more and more. And when my friend said she was teaching herself the guitar, I was like, cool, okay, I'll get down that guitar and I'll dust it off. And let's see if I can catch up to where she is. And it's literally just learning a few chords. We got a DVD and a book out of a library. Okay, so the next step is important. Each band provides a pure gain dial. And now with six bands, you have an incredible amount of power to perform voice restoration tasks by raising or lowering gain levels in each band. This isn't EQ. These are bands with an infinite Q slope, so you can be incredibly surgical and transparent. Let's hear this in action and add a bit more body to this voice. And that guitar that had been hanging on my mom's wall for years started to appeal more and more. Or we could make it sound thinner. And when thinner. my friend said she was teaching herself the guitar, I was like, cool, okay, Prefer I'll more get body. down that guitar and I'll dust it off. And let's see if I can catch up to where she is. And it's literally just learning a few chords. We've got a DVD and a book out of a library. Okay, so the voice sounds perfectly clean now compared to how it sounded before. And with the pure gain, we've managed to add a bit more tone to the voice. Now, when you're working with pure gain, and depending on how much headroom you have left, you may internally clip the plugin. If you do so, we've got a new high quality limiter down here at the output as a safety net. I'll demonstrate the limiter in a few moments, but let's move on to another example. Now, what I should have done is to walk into that studio, really cool, got my guitar, plugged into the amp that was there, because that was what they were used to and just played the songs, but I didn't. So the first thing I did was create a problem, which I should never ever have done. So they were recording all of the auditions so they could listen back afterwards. In this example, all of the bands and the two pure gain boosts are working well, but the overall level is slightly too hot, which is clipping the output. Here is where the limiter comes into play. So let's use this to control those peaks, which will also eliminate that clipping crunched sound. In addition to the clip indicators that will automatically turn off when the limiter is engaged, you'll also see a visual indication of the limiter's gain reduction between the ballistics of the output level. Now what I should have done is to walk into that studio, really cool, got my guitar, plugged into the amp that was there, because that was what they were used to and just played the songs. But I didn't, so the first thing I did was create a problem, which I should never ever have done. So they were recording all of the auditions so they could listen back afterwards. Now, many VX Pro users like to process multiple clips through the same instance of clarity, but this would sometimes cause unstable results in the original version, not in this update. With the new auto reset feature for the neural networks, this issue is resolved with more stable results. If 200 milliseconds of silence is detected between regions, the plugin automatically resets the neural network, providing extremely stable results on inconsistent noise. It really is a case of set it and forget it. And that guitar that had been hanging on my mom's wall for years started to appeal more and more. Now what I should have done is to walk into that studio, really cool, got my guitar, plugged into the amp that was there. And that guitar that had been hanging on my mom's wall for years started to appeal more and more. Now what I should have done is to walk into that studio, really cool, got my guitar, plugged into the amp that was there. And that guitar that had been hanging on my mom's wall for years started to appeal more and more. Now what I should have done is to walk into that studio, really cool, got my guitar, plugged into the amp that was there. As you can hear, the results are way better with auto reset on. Not only does this save time and having to perform automation, but it removes the guesswork from the process as well. Don't forget, this update of Clarity VX Pro, which includes all of these new features, being the six bands, auto reset, and the new built-in limiter, is a free V14 update. Simply launch Wave Central to get the update, and you're all set. For more information on Clarity VX Pro, and to hear more denoising examples of this in action, visit waves.com forward slash VX Pro.